Hi everyone, welcome back to the Tiny Herd where we talk about everyday pet care for guinea pigs, rabbits, and other small pets. Tonight I am doing some pet chores. We are going to clean cages. You guys have requested me do more of these so I'm going to talk through this cage clean. So this is probably going to be a long video. But uh, first I'm going to put all this laundry away. And if you don't want to watch me put the laundry away, then I will put a time on the screen that you can skip to. But I have to do this before I clean cages to make sure that I have everything that I need. So I'm going to do that first and then we're going to get cleaning cages. So like I said, I'm going to talk through this video. I don't really have a whole ton to talk about really. So I'm just going to keep talking and hopefully come up with some topics that we can talk about. I am going to have to go through this closet soon because I have... I think four, potentially five, new cage sets that I'm making for different things. And I'm not going to have enough space. But I think what will help a lot, hi Andy, is I'm going to take all the Christmas stuff out and put them in like a separate area so that they're not taking up so much room in here. The only reason I have them in here is because I don't have enough fleece in general that's not Christmas to fill cages all the time. So like I use this all the time, these two all the time, and these are technically Christmas. So once I have more sets, I can put the Christmas away. Like those are Christmas, <laughs> I use those all the time. Um, so then I can have some not Christmas themes that I do on a more regular basis. So hopefully I will get to do that soon. But I have been sewing a lot lately because I'm doing a series that I've told you guys about before. I'm doing a series in August showing you guys step by step how to make cage liners. I've done a video on that before but it was like more of an overview. It was during Vlogmas last year. I'll link it in case you want to watch it but it definitely tells you how to do it but I wanted to go step by step because I get a lot of questions on that video. So it's going to be five parts. <laughs> it's going to be a month long five part series. So hopefully it's a lot more helpful. And if you don't care about that, those videos will be up on Tuesday and then normal videos will be up on Fridays. So you don't have to worry if you don't care about that. You will still get some regular content. Hello Andy. He likes to help when I clean cages, and I think he knows it's coming. So I put all this stuff away so that I know that I have the fleece that I want when I'm cleaning cages. I haven't made them new fleece in a couple of years, probably. Um... I don't really like making fleece. I say that. I didn't like it in the past, but I've done a lot, lot, lot more sewing than when I started making liners. So I'm a lot more patient now and a lot more practiced when it comes to sewing. So I like it a lot more now than I used to. And I'm thinking that I'm going to start offering custom orders for cage sets. I don't know if I'll have a lot of like pre-made sets on Etsy. So basically what I'm thinking is I'm going to um, like have a system set up where I have my prices listed and you basically message me on Instagram or Etsy or whatever and tell me what you want based on my like price list and then we will pick fleece because I, I don't really want to like have fleece on hand because it's kind of expensive and if it doesn't sell then I'm just stuck with it. So to get started what I would rather do is like work with you so you get exactly what fleece you want. So like you tell me kind of what you're wanting or have you go on Joann's and find a fleece that you like and then we will decide on what all you want and I will tell you what it's going to cost 
and how long it's gonna take me and then I'll make your order so I'm thinking I'm gonna do it that way instead of having like preset things that I make and then I am probably gonna make some pre-made items and list them in my shop like I'm gonna start making some extra cubes and list those I was planning on doing that anyway so I'll probably have like potty pads and lap pads and probably some fleece forests and some cubes so I am planning on doing that but I think I'm going to start offering the cage liners also because you guys ask me about them all the time and they're really not that hard for me to make because I've done it so many times now so if you guys want to order from me definitely let me know and I will let you guys know I might have posted custom things for sale by the time this video goes up because I'm not absolutely sure when it's going to go up so you might have already been able to do a custom order but I just wanted to let you guys know about that. Somebody did point out that I, I've gotten a lot of new subscribers lately and you guys don't know everyone's names <laughs> so I probably am not going to do a meet my pets video anytime soon where is my brush because those are honestly really hard to film and I plan my videos out like a couple months ahead of time I don't film them necessarily then but I like have a plan and I don't really like to change my plan unless I have to so I'll do a meet my pets at some point but not in the near future so in this video I'm gonna tell you guys who everyone is. So, this cage here has Georgie and Jellybean. That is Jellybean right there, and then that's little Georgie. They're the boys. I've had Georgie for three years now, so I think he's four or five, I believe. I don't have another pad to go with this. Eh, it's fine. Sometimes I'm picky about my cages. Sometimes I'm not. We're going to do blue this time. So I've had Georgie for like three years. Um, I got him from the Humane Society. Hi. He was with his buddy, Freddy. So it used to be Fred and George. And they looked very similar, which is why they had those names from Harry Potter. And... Sadly, Freddy passed away two years ago. It'll be two years ago in October, I think. Um, so he was alone. Georgie was alone for about a year because... Sorry, I thought I was going to sneeze. Because we couldn't really find the right pig. Well, for a while I couldn't find any male pigs at all. This is like shrunk. That bothers me. It's the U-Haul that shrinks, by the way. If you have liners and they're shrinking, it's the actual U-Haul inside. So if you do this, it'll stretch your liner back out. Don't pull like crazy hard. Don't rip the stitches or anything. But that's how you pull your liner back out. And then it's a little bit wider. Then it fits the way it's supposed to fit. I'm going to be redoing all these cages soon. This video is already all over the place. So about Georgie, I couldn't really find a male pig. I couldn't really find a pig that I felt like would be good with him because he's like, he's not dominant, but he's not really like submissive either. So I wasn't really sure who to put him with. And then I ended up being sent a Facebook group like, Marketplace posting. It wasn't really marketplace, but like somebody posted to rehome Jelly Bean on Facebook in my hometown, actually. And he was being rehomed because his uh, friends that he had lived with had passed away. So I decided to give him a try, and it worked out really well. They get along pretty well now. They do argue, but that's pretty normal male piggy behavior. 
but they get along really well overall. Oh, you're so tubby, I can't move it. You're so tubby, I can't move it. Get on the fleece, Georgie. Get on the fleece, goofball. Your fleece forest all laid out. Okay. And I need... <clears throat> Let's use this green. Watch this not fit. Okay, it does fit. All right. So we're just a mix of colors this week, which is fine. So I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna use this. All right, let's get back on track. What was I talking about? <laughs> so Georgie and Jellybean are doing great together. That's what I was talking about. I wanna redo these cages soon. If you can tell, this one has another pad because it slopes down. Because I hadn't put plastic in them. Like they're just, they're just like pieced together. Behave. I made it more mad. Sorry. Didn't mean to. Oop, I hit you on the butt. So I wanna get them new plastic and I want to rebuild their grids because they're just like kind of a mess and it kind of bothers me. Just want them to look like nice and clean and, and uniform. And right now they do not. They're just kind of a mess. I want the grids to be the same size. I don't necessarily want to use the connectors either. Like I think, Andy, I think I'm gonna switch them to connecting all the grids with zip ties, which does make the cage a little bit smaller, but they're all in two by fives, which is already bigger than the minimum for two pigs. So it doesn't really matter. And these girls, for example, don't even use half their cage. These are my senior girls. Callie and Lily, they are both six, right? 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, yeah. They're both six. Callie is one of my original two pigs I got after I had my own apartment and got my first pets on my own. I got her and Belle together. Belle Pig passed away earlier this year in April, but she had a good long life. She ended up with a bladder stone and then she was starting to get bumblefoot and she had arthritis. She just was an old girl so she lived a good life though. So these are the two senior ladies and they're both doing really well. They've definitely slowed down. They spend a lot of their time sleeping. They don't necessarily get as riled up as everyone else does but they still get excited for food, they still weep, they still want to come out and see what everything, what's going on, see what everyone's doing, so they're doing really well. Knock on wood, neither of them have any health issues at the moment, so they're doing good. They just don't really use half their cage, <laughs> which is fine because that makes it easy to clean. So to tell you a little bit about them, um, like I said, Callie was one of my original two and that was before I knew that you could like adopt guinea pigs or that like rescuing was a thing for small pets. No, go back please. Um, so I actually got her and Belle from Petco, which I do not recommend doing now. I don't shop at any pet store that sells animals. So that's just a side note. I'm going to do a video about that at some point too. I'm not telling anybody that they shouldn't be shopping wherever they want to shop, but my personal choice is I don't shop anywhere that sells animals, especially if they don't take care of them well. If there was a pet store near me that took care of their animals well, then maybe I would shop there, but there's not. I was all excited when a new one was coming into our town. 
because I thought it was going to be good because I was thinking, you know, oh, independent pet store. It's going to be great. Yeah, no, they're, they're one of the biggest problems in our area for rabbit overpopulation because they don't give anyone proper information. So there's just my little rant. I'll stop. I'll stop on my soapbox there, but I don't get my animals from the pet store anymore. And I got Lily from the Humane Society. She actually was part of a um, rescue that a box of 13 guinea pigs had been dumped in like a dry riverbed. So I actually adopted her and what I believe was one of her babies. Um, so I adopted her and Luna, so I originally had the original tiny herd, if you've been around that long, before I had a YouTube channel, was just my Instagram. I had Belle, Callie, Lily, and Luna, which was the sign up here. They were my original four. I had just the four for a long time because I lived in apartments. So probably for until 2018, I had the four girls and that was the whole tiny herd. That's actually when I started my YouTube channel. So we go back. Hi. The bunnies are helping by poking my leg. And I do, um, a couple people always ask, I do wipe down their cage. I just usually don't do it in the videos when I'm filming because it adds a bunch of extra time to the videos. So when I clean their cage next time, I will wipe that down, but it's not too dirty right now. So that's not a big deal. Use this guinea pig fleece that I don't use very often. I have fleece to make liners out of this. I've just never done it. So I should add that to my list too. I think it's even already cut out. Okay, so that is the senior girl's cage. What am I doing? I'll put this here. Put their bed. This back. This back. Okay, how's that? Is that good? I do sell these name tags in my Etsy shop. I really like how these came out. They look cute on their bed. So I'll be linked down below. Their cage is all done though. So we are on our last cage. This is the little babes cage. That's what I call them because when I got them they were pretty much babies. They are no longer babies. <laughs> they are two years old I believe. I've had them. I've had them for about a year, so they're probably right around two years old, maybe not quite. I'll have to figure that out sometime actually. I'm not quite sure how old they are. Um, but they're definitely my youngest pigs because they were babies when I got them um, two years ago. And I still act like they're babies even though they're definitely not. So these are my Texels. I love Texel guinea pigs. I think they're so cute. I've always wanted some, but like I said, I don't buy from pet stores. I don't really get from breeders um, just because there's no breeders around me that are decent. There are in other parts of the country for sure, but not really where I live. And I think there's somebody backyard breeding Texels around me because they're starting to crop up in animal shelters because I've seen multiple people rehoming them on Facebook and then these two were left at the shelter when they were like, I don't know. They said they were eight to nine months old when I got them, but I disagree. I think they were more like four or five months old. They were pretty small. They didn't even have long hair yet. Like you could tell they were Texels for sure. They were curly, but they did not have their long, long floofy locks they have now. And I haven't even told you guys these guys' names. So I call them the little babes, but their actual names are Johnny and June. It is a boy and girl pair. Um, Johnny is neutered. He was neutered when I got him. So they were bonded. They were, he was neutered and they were bonded 
before I got them from the shelter. And uh, June actually is partially spayed. So she also can't have babies. And when I say partially spayed, I probably should do a video on that sometime, but she had ovarian cysts and she also had an infection in her uterus. When they went to do the cyst surgery, they found that and because of her size and the placement of her bladder, they were not able to take out her uterus. So she does still have her uterus, but she doesn't have her ovaries. She doesn't have the cysts anymore. Sometime I gotta get that back there. That really drives me nuts when there's hay stuck all back there. And I am actually gonna clean this up because there's quite a bit of pee in this corner. Not really sure how they did that. Somebody must have got under a liner at some point. All right. have a ton to talk about. I feel like I've done a good job so far. Hi babe. So that is all the pets or all the guinea pigs rather. I do also have the bunnies. They're both right here. Andy is the fluffy one and Mikey is the one with the black ears and the nose. I am doing a video. It's probably already up by the time you're seeing this but yes he does have a head tilt. I get probably at least one to two comments every single day on videos asking why he has a head tilt. He does have a tilt, it is permanent, he's perfectly happy and healthy, so no worries there. He's just a tilty bunny. And if that video is already up, I'll link it down below. Other than that, we do have 13 animals, so other than the six guinea pigs and the two rabbits, we also have a betta fish named Arthur. And then we have a dog who is very old and very uh, elderly, I should say. He's blind and deaf. He has a really hard time getting around. He has arthritis. So we're doing the best we can with him at the moment. We do have a dog and then we have a mouse named Snickers. She is two and a half years old. She does live alone, which is because she is over two and a half. Um, she has a really hard time getting around. She's very frail. She pretty much only comes out to eat and get food. Well, that's what I just said, to eat and get something to drink. And then she does come out to play with my boyfriend, which is funny because she could care less about me, <laughs> but they like kind of bonded because he would bother her every night. So that's kind of nice. So she'll come out and interact with him. Other than that, she pretty much sleeps, which is why she's alone. She's too frail to introduce anyone at this point. And then we do have two rats that we just got whose names are um, Ollie and Noodle, which so that's been a lot of fun. So that is all of the animals that we currently have, all 13 of them. I'm going to give them the, this house back. It's going to need wash next time, but it's not too bad at the moment. All right, so that's everyone clean. All right, so that is all of the cages clean. What I'm going to do next is clean up the bunnies area, change their liner, clean their litter box, vacuum the floor, and then I will get everybody hay and water and we will be done for the evening. But I'm not going to show you guys that with the GoPro on because you would probably be motion sick. So thank you guys for watching. If you like these videos, please give this a thumbs up so I know to keep making them and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I make new videos every Tuesday and Friday, but I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.